Hey guys, it's Shalika. Gina's going to be right back. But I wanted to go ahead and start by saying um, this video is for a lot of our subscribers who had a couple of questions that they asked us. And so we have a plethora of information for you guys today. And if you are new, thanks for joining in. Be sure that you subscribe because you want to join this bandwagon of ours. Um, okay, Katie the Greater is a subscriber and she had a couple of questions about her foundation. Um, I know that she went and got a face primer so that helped with a lot of her problems. Um, she said that her foundation seemed a little blotchy. Uh, the primer, Bare Minerals Face Primer, put that on first. That's going to take care of any blotchiness. It's going to make sure your foundation stays on all day and doesn't move. Um, she also um, got a kit and washed her brushes really soon, and I guess we'll mm -hmm. do a tutorial on how to wash your brushes. A quick demo. Yeah, a demo. Um, I wouldn't suggest buying the kit and then washing your brushes. Give it a month or a month and a half, and then wash them, uh, because you might have washed them too soon, and that's giving you funky coverage. Um, if you want a fuller coverage... Two of the brushes that I use and like, so does Gina, Love is them. the Handy Buki brush and the Max Coverage Face. So, Katie, if you want to go back out to a boutique and purchase those brushes, um, you'll see a huge difference in your foundation and coverage. Yeah, and the only reason why we say to get the Handy Buki or even the Maximum Coverage Face Brush is because, like Shalika said, you'll get more coverage because the bristles are more condensed. They're more closer together. They're not all sporadically separated. Like, if you notice the Full Flawless Face Brush, it has a little bit more um, sporadicness. So, of course, it'll get faster coverage. But you won't get the full coverage, even though it does say Full Flawless. It's kind of misleading. The Handy Buki is my favorite. If It's my go-to if I ever need more of a fuller coverage on a certain day. And that's the one I usually use. I use the full, or the yeah, I use the full flawless right now though, just because I want more of a light to medium. But if I ever want the the fuller coverage that I think you're trying to achieve, I would do the handy bookie. I used the full flawless today. I like it. I did. That looks good. Your makeup looks so good. Thanks. Mom. Yours does. No, -uh! I love your foundation. I hate oh, mine. She's so sweet. Okay, so. Hopefully we answered your question, and I love your videos. Don't you love her videos? Yeah. She's so, like, sweet and personable. That's, I think that's cool. So just shout out to you, Katie the Greater. Awesome. Okay. Go check her out. So, Passionate Creole asked us a question, too, um, <coughs> about the foundation, and that she's NC44 from MAC, and that mm -hmm. she wants to switch because she's been breaking out lately. The only thing me and her can say is that you would probably have to go to an Ulta or a Sephora or um, any Bare Essentials boutique and get color matched because us on a regular, we have people from MAC, people from Clinique, people from all over trying to get um, the color matched and we are try to get the same color that they were using and it's usually different. So if you were NC44, you might be... I don't even know. I would probably say maybe tan. I don't know. See, that's why I'm saying you yeah. probably would need to get color match. Because I don't want to say something. You go get, you know, go get the color, and then you go home and be disappointed. So because there's so many yeah. to choose from, and once you buff it out onto your face, it could be the right shade. Mm -hmm. But just a little color match on my hand, it won't tell me what your shade is. So it'd just be better for you to go have someone do your makeup so you, that you can oh, okay, decide. Yeah. Which one you like better? So sorry, it's just one of those. It's a hard thing. So we have like, I don't know, how many foundations do we have? Like forty? No, we have like twenty shades. So to pick one, it would just it would kind of be hard, especially because NC44 is more of a darker um, color. But what I will say is, when you do go, go get color matched. Make sure the color you decide, it's in the matte formulation. Yeah. Don't get original, get matte. So, I learned this in cosmetology school. Like, if you have 
Look at your veins. Look at your veins in your hand. Because if you see a lot of makeup artists, they'll turn your hand around and they'll look at your veins. You might think that's crazy or you might think that they're trying to test for blood or they're phlebotomists. Because <laughs> that's what I say sometimes. But they're not. What they're doing is they're kind of quickly trying to see your undertone. Okay. So look at your arm right now. Okay. If you have blue veins, you have a yellow undertone. Okay. If you have green veins, you have a pink undertone. And if you have a blue and a green, you're a neutral. And that's just something fun to share. So, that's that. Okay, so now Bambi 2024. Hi Bambi, it's been a while. Sorry, we were just now getting to you. Um, we wanna know how your interview went, your second one. Uh, and when you let us know, I promise we'll get back to you as soon as we get your email. But I know you rocked it just because we can tell you're a sweet soul. So hopefully you did good. And um, all the best wishes. All the best wishes. <laughs> I want to keep that. I like it. Okay. <laughs> Our subscriber, Pink Red Pink, um, was asking about her. She has fair, fair skin. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to know what blush would look good on her without making her look like a clown. Okay. And eyeshadows that didn't make her look too washed out or too gothic because it's too dark. Okay, so I'll tell you my two favorite ones. My two favorite ones is, um, let's do Giddy Pink and let's do Fruit Cocktail. For the blush. For the blush. Because those two colors would be beautiful on you. As long as you do like a little pinch in your lid, heat it up. And buff it on you'll get like a nice outcome don't you know go crazy or you will look a little bit too um i don't know too happy you'll be too blushy and you don't want that so <laughs> i would just do a little bit a little bit goes a long way so giddy pink and fruit cocktail mm -hmm. and then for her eyes if you're doing bare mineral eyeshadows because you have blue eyes i would um do purples um and a very light pretty purple that I like is called heart so mm -hmm. you could get that put that on your lid it's really nice so that's what I would suggest yeah and I love Bahamas and camp and rapture uh, Bahamas is like a pink iridescent it's so pretty uh, like I always say it on the videos but you know it never gets old to mix it that's my favorite uh, my other one would be like I said camp just because it's like more of a coppery color and so if you like shimmer, you'll love camp in your crease. And also Rapture is more on the matte side. So you'll get that pretty like all over crease color. I, I don't know. It's one of those really pretty like light smokies. I think that would bring out your eye color. So try those, those suggestions that we did. Yes. If you're wanting, I just thought of one. If you're wanting um, a matte look, I don't know if you like shimmer, but Adventure is a matte purple. Really? And it's really nice in the crease, so um, try that. Or Wearable Plum Light is a matte shadow, and it's real nice in the crease. So Play with some of those. But purples definitely would look good on you, like lighter purples. And then, like Gina said, Bahamas and Camp is really nice. Those would be really, really pretty. Is that I all our questions? It. Yep. That was pretty fast. That was fast. That was really, really quick. We're good. That was good. No, we're good. We're good. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> She's going to beat me up after this video. All right, and hopefully we did answer your questions. And like we always say, if you ever have any questions, comments, as long as they're not crazy, we will get back to you ASAP. So with that, I guess bye for now, and we'll see you soon. <laughs> that was good.